I know that they kind of had their moment in the sun and I think less, oh bless you. <laughs> Hello and welcome to today's video. Let it be known that I had full intentions to film this earlier in the day when I was wearing actually cute clothes, but here I am in a t-shirt and I'm just now having a chance to film, but I wanted to sit down today and kind of go through some items in my collection that were either limited edition or items that have been discontinued and just kind of talk about items that I really, really enjoy. And yeah, you can't really get your hands on it anymore and that kind of makes me sad. I, in the comments section, I'm so, so curious to hear what everybody else's either favorite limited edition or discontinued item is because honestly, at night when I can't sleep or I'm starting to fall asleep, I pull up like declutter videos quite often and I was, and I watch like, especially like bigger YouTubers and they all are decluttering items that are either limited edition or no longer available. Like those are easy cutthroat like things that they get rid of. And I got to thinking about, cause I'm trying to work on my inventory. And I'm like, gosh, I, if I did that, I think like almost half of my collection might be gone because so many of my items that I own are like, I guess considered old because they are either limited edition or discontinued items. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to showcase some of these and also definitely want to hear what y'all's favorite ones are. So let's start off with some face items and then we'll move into like eyeshadow stuff. First, I have a Milani primer. This is the Foss Soft Focus Glow Primer from Milani. And I didn't try this until like last year, like probably right before they decided that they were gonna discontinue it. And I'm not I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure this is discontinued. When I look online, I can't find it on their website. Um, but this is kind of like what it looks like. It, it's just a glowy, pretty primer, but I find that this is really great if you want to kind of add some glow to like a foundation or like a tinted moisturizer. This is what I love this primer for. And I'm I kind of like shocked and a little sad that you can't find it as anymore, or at least as easily as I would think you should be able to. Another primer that I don't have right now, I'll put a picture of it up on the screen, it's the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. I've talked about that primer on my channel before. I think that's probably the best drug, like drugstore pore filling primer that there is, and I don't understand why L'Oreal is getting rid of that product. Last I saw, you could still buy it online, but I did see somewhere that they are definitely getting rid of it, which again, I don't understand because it is Probably the best one I've ever tried from the drugstore. Another product I don't understand why they got rid of is the CoverGirl Healthy Vitalist Elixir Foundation. Maybe it was like their journey to becoming cruelty free that ended this one's life, but this was such a good foundation. I used a full bottle of this up and I have this one as a backup that I have not uh, uh, like used at all yet. But when I say that this was like one of the better drugstore foundations I've ever tried, I mean it. And it's also just in general, one of the better foundations I've ever used up too. Uh, another good product, and this one, some, sometimes, and I think you'll see a lot throughout some of these other products, sometimes the collabs that these companies do are so good, and I'm like, man, they need to, like Becca did with Champagne Pop, they made, that was a collab turned like permanent product for a while. I don't understand why companies get rid of some of these shades or don't bring some of these shades back permanently. This is a highlighter from Maybelline, this was the Puma collaboration, and it's this beautiful, like, duochrome kind of pinky gold it pulls very pink when you swatch it but when i put it on my cheeks i feel like it pulls a little bit more gold this highlighter is so pretty and another one that again i don't understand why they haven't made that one permanent uh and then of course like i said champagne pop was one of the ones that sadly becca closed but this is one of the probably the most flattering highlight for my skin tone that i own in my collection so that's one that i wish was still around for Becca highlight reasons, but they're gone now. Uh, now Tarte, I feel like they commonly make really decent or pretty good, especially like blush palettes for like limited edition holiday things, and then they get rid of them. Now, maybe some of these shades are in their permanent collection, like permanent lines available in like the singles, but I find that these things are, like their palettes are pretty like good. I really enjoyed this. I think I got this in, 2018 or 2019 and I just found that this is like a solid palette I probably could honestly use just this palette for the rest of my life and be fine but um you know I like to try other formulas but this palette in particular was a really really nice palette I felt like it helped me understand different like uses for different kind of tones I think in the past I probably would have just used one blush for every look but when I got this palette I kind of learned like okay like 
Uh, I'm not so afraid to use some of these deeper berry tones or some of these cooler tones. And yeah, I, I don't understand why they don't keep, they don't tend to keep like a bigger blush or highlight palette in their range. They tend to only have singles, but I think that's kind of a mistake on their part because these palettes I think are better. I, I would buy these palettes before I would buy like singles from Tarte. So I quickly have two eyeshadow singles to talk about before I move into palettes. First is from Stila. I really enjoy the glittering glows. I know that they kind of had their moment in the sun and I think less, oh bless you. <laughs> I think less people have, are using these things nowadays. But um, I found that this shade Gypsy, which they probably could rename it, but um, it was a beautiful, like kind of like a pastel purpley shade. It, you can't even tell anymore. Um, mine's like used to death. It's almost completely gone. But this shade in particular I thought was really beautiful and from what I can tell on their website they don't have this shade in particular anymore and I think that's kind of a mistake because this one is so beautiful. Another like company that I don't understand they're discontinuing themselves as a whole, Marc Jacobs shut down their cosmetics line and I don't understand why. Like I have one of their eyeshadow palettes, I love it. I have an eyeshadow single from them, I love it. And this, like their sequin eyeshadows, they're stunning. I don't understand why they got rid of their cosmetics like line, but I really was disappointed when I heard that they were discontinuing theirs. Also their bronzer I really liked, but their their makeup was really good. I don't I don't know why they had to leave. All right, to finish this up, let's go through five eyeshadow palettes really quick. First, I have ABH here. Again, two of these are well one of this one of these is a collaboration product and i think jackie anna like killed this palette this color story is really 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 beautiful i really like it's one of my favorite palettes in my entire collection and this is one that i i understand my, maybe it's harder contract wise to keep these things permanent in a, in a line but i feel like this is one that I could see them being really successful with had they made this a more permanent color option, but they didn't. I'm really glad I got my hands on it, but again, I don't understand why. And then two limited edition kind of things or things that are no longer available. I don't know how lim if l Subculture was limited edition or if they just discontinued it rather quickly because it was a little bit of a scandalous palette at the time. But I, I think, again, this is like one of the coolest color stories I've ever seen. So, I don't have any issues with the like quality of mine, but I know some people did, so maybe that's part of the reason why this one was gone. But this one here, Sultry, I don't understand. When this one came out, people grabbed it up, and I feel like the more you watch people who own this palette, the more you see that they really fall in love with this palette. And I don't understand, I feel like this is a color story that would have done them very well to make permanent, but they have never, they brought it back like a year later. I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong about that. I'm pretty sure they made it available like a year later for purchase again because it was such a popular palette. But then again, like again, like they have the opportunity to make this a permanent part of the range and they don't. I think this is a better palette than Soft Glam. So it's kind of shocking that they've never decided to make that one permanent. Now one from, well, I just remembered literally as I picked this up that BH has been bought out or went bankrupt or something like that and then Makeup Revolution I think has bought them out. But um, I this one in particular from BH Cosmetics was a palette that I'd never understood why they again didn't make more permanent. Like I think this is way better quality and w a better story, color story wise than like those Take Me Back to Brazil palettes that were a part of their permanent range. But this is the Weekend Festival palette from them. And I, again, I, I think this is such a nice palette and I, I think that this could have been or should have been permanent over some of the other ones that they chose to keep permanent in their line. And then last up, Natasha Denona recently said that she is discontinuing this guy. This is the gold palette. And maybe I can maybe I can understand that it's been out for a long time and maybe people aren't like snatching up as quickly anymore because so maybe it's a little bit more expensive to produce. I don't know. It's been around for a while, but rightly so. This palette is really beautiful. I definitely like as I look at it go, I don't use it enough for how beautiful it is. But this one I'm surprised to see going. I don't know about y'all. Are y'all do you agree that it should go? Or do you think it's kind of like sad to see this kind of thing go? But yeah, this is another one that I'm kind of surprised and a little bit sad to see it being discontinued. But that is it for today's video. Please make sure in the comments, because I am so, so curious to hear what your favorite, like maybe discontinued and or uh, limited edition items that you have in your collection that you love. Make sure you let me know. I'm curious. 
And that's all for today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.